Hello everyone. I wanted to share a pickup today with everyone. It's my biggest pickup yet, so let's get right to it. And this one will be controversial because, well, we'll see here in a second. So I picked up some quarter ounce American Gold Eagles. And everybody says, well, they're cheaper if you buy a full ounce. And I'm here to put my money where my mouth is and say that that's not true in any way, shape, or form. I mean, yes, it's cheaper. But that whole argument doesn't hold any water at all, as far as I'm concerned. If I need to sell $2,000 worth of something because I need 2000 bucks, I'd rather sell three of these than a full ounce. If I have to sell a full ounce to get that two thousand dollars, I'm selling two seven hundred dollars worth of so or I'm selling seven hundred dollars worth of gold I shouldn't be selling. You don't want to sell more than you need to. And the only way to re reduce that is put it into ways that you can do it. I would have saved $180 if it had bought a full ounce over buying four of these. But like I just said, if I need 2000 bucks, it's either sell a full ounce or just sell three quarters of an ounce and still have this in my pocket. That's way wiser choice. At least in my mind it is. You're buying gold when you can afford it. There's a good chance you're going to be selling it when you can't afford it. So, yeah. So 2024, and I was just looking this morning at 2025s are available. Well, early pre-order. Close enough. And as you can see by the wrappers, these came from bullion exchanges. I wanted to get the randoms, but they didn't have them in stock. So they're all the 2024s. I mean, I understand if I got the randoms, it would have probably all been the same date anyway, but you never know what you're going to get. So, yeah. And I've always actually enjoyed that way more. I mean, I got a, a 1986 first year Roman numeral by buying the randoms. So, yeah. I better get this going here. Three minutes in, we haven't even done anything. Not that we are going to do anything, but... I do have some capsules that need to be filled. Make a little bit of sound there, dropping them on each other. So yeah, just because somebody says, buy a full ounce, you'll save money. Until you go to sell it. And then you're going to lose money because you're selling more than you need to. So, yeah. Let's see. What do I do with the capsules? Let's get all this crap out of my way. Let's stack all these up because it'll be fun. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Way funner than a one ounce. Anyway, let's see. Where's this at? Well, uh, that's upside down. All right. So, yeah, that was my biggest pickup by far. And as you've probably seen somewhere, I let my 90% go to grab these. So, yeah. What was nice about doing that, though, is that you, each one I got, I just lowered the cost average just a little bit more. So, when it was all said and done, these are all, all going to go into my deep stack. 
and maintaining the cost average where I'm at, which is kind of the whole point. Because buying and just keep raising the average, you're never going to do it. That's why that whole argument of, oh, dollar cost average, you just buy them if they're high, buy them if they're low, and it all adds together. That's a myth, too. That's nothing more than a cost average of the day you were buying them. Dollar cost, cost average for me is what you've actually got into what you bought. Not what you think you can get something you haven't even got yet for. Anyway, that's just me kind of saying what I'm th thinking. My math's worked for a long, long time, and I'd say the full ounces is just a complete... I don't know. The only gold I've ever regretted buying was a full ounce. Actually, that's not true. When I bought a one ounce American Gold Eagle, then it's like, well, I got a quarter ounce, I got a tenth ounce, now I got a one. Crap. Now I need to order a half. So, yeah. So, there's another ounce and a half for the bag. And it's going to be fun to play with these for the next 20 minutes. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time.